This is Mika with Living with Mika. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a collaboration with Dior's Hair Extensions today. They reached out to me and they wanted me to collab with them on some of their clip-ins. The hair, it feels great. Um, I'll tell you a little more about it here shortly. This is my very, very first time doing any kind of hair clip-in extensions. I am uh, all natural. So uh, this process has been uh, not that easy for your girl because I'm not relaxed. If I was relaxed or if I had like stringy, like straight hair, this hair would be perfect for me. It's beautiful. I love it. If I ever go relaxed, then this is gonna be my go-to, but I just don't plan on going relax anytime soon because it takes my hair out. But thank you so much, Dior, for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to do this collab with you and trying out something new. I am always up for a challenge, okay? <laughs> and you guys will see in these videos that I was up for the challenge, okay? I tried my best trial and error okay to get this video out for y'all i wanted so bad for this video to be like chef's kiss i wanted it to be that way but in doing these videos sometimes it just don't work out for some of us you know and for me it did not work out for me and it wasn't because of the dior hair company it was because of my hair texture. It just did not work out for the hair. Would I recommend these hair clips to anyone? Yes, I would. Get your hands on these. This right here is, she's 20 inch, you guys, okay? As you guys can see, she comes to my uh, hip line. If I stand up, she comes to, let me see. She comes to, the top of my butt right here you guys so she's beautiful i love her um, if i was to do this hairstyle and i was relaxed i would need two boxes i just think you need two boxes i'm sorry like and my hair is a decent length you know my natural hair is a decent length and so for me clip-ins are supposed to actually just add that uh, length that you want to your hair it's supposed to give you that extra length but me I would want it to because my hair is already thin I would want it to make my hair thicker as well so I would use two boxes she's beautiful she's just she's gorgeous she does not tangle really like I said Dior thank you so much you guys are great you were very patient with me on this I overthink everything you guys and I was overthinking this. I overthought it so much. It was giving me a headache because I just didn't know how I was going to install it. After the first day, as you guys can see, I'm going to have two different days in here. After that first day, I was over it. I needed to take a break from this because I was just so overwhelmed. Saturday, I recorded the video that you guys saw first. Then I took a break Sunday because I was just over it. I was so overwhelmed and I felt defeated. And I hate feeling defeated. I hate feeling like I can't accomplish something. I want to accomplish everything I put my hands on. And um, I don't know if that's the Aries in me or what, but I didn't accomplish my goal. So I was pretty overwhelmed and disgusted with myself. So I took Sunday to just take a break, step away from it. I started on this process this morning which is monday you guys will see the trial and errors i tried two different ways like i said it was not the dior hair company it was my hair texture it does not blend well with the hair the clip-ins are beautiful i'm very very grateful for this opportunity i've never done clip-ins before um, so it was trial and error for me even wearing it down was beautiful if i had like, like a hair texture more like mine then it would have worked out great but because the hair texture is so silky straight um, my hair just would not blend so 
that's about all I have for you guys. If I have a discount code, I will add it to the screen. I will also put it in the description. Yeah, you guys, I mean, there's just not much to it. It is what it is. You know, we all try things and sometimes we don't, it don't turn out the way we want it to, but I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to let it win. I'm still going to continue to try to execute what I was out to execute. And my job was to execute this this uh, collab with Dior's hair company. And I think I did, okay? It might not be the same hair texture, but I think I did a dang good job for the first time putting these clippings in. Um, so yes, you guys, please enjoy the video, okay? I'm going to make it as choppy as possible because I don't want it to be too long. But yeah, please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already what are you waiting on you guys it's free okay so please like comment and subscribe leave your comments down in the below and for me please i enjoy hearing you guys's feedback all the nice ones i enjoy hearing what my ladybugs have to say i enjoy hearing it okay so with that being said, y'all, it's been a long journey. So I'm going to go ahead and end this right now because, yeah. Do what makes you happy until next time. Love you guys. Bye. Hello, you guys. I am so sorry I was pronouncing Doors Hair Company wrong. So I am doing a collaboration with doors ultra seamless clip-in hair extensions you guys the hair extensions i chose were in a color dark brown number two the hair length was a 20 inch like i said in the last clip and yeah they also gave me a discount code which is mika 20 for 20 percent off so let's get into it you guys Doors Ultra Seamless Clip-Ins use 0.5 millimeter paper thin wefts that are 50% thinner at the top than other clip-ins on the market. The width sits flush against the scalp, creating ultimate comfort and invisible look. It works perfect for thin and fine hair. So you guys, support Doors Hair Company, all right? I'll put all their information in my description. Please take advantage of my discount. And now let's get into this beautiful install. So right here, you guys, I am parting my hair because I want to see how I'm going to wear it. I was really, really trying to get the um, side part do i love my side parts i don't know what it is it just my forehead is so long that when i put in a side part it to me makes my forehead look a little you know smaller <laughs> i was liking the little clips y'all they so comfortable yep so right here i am parting the back of my hair you guys, my split ends are horrible. I really need to get my hair cut. I've been thinking about getting a big chop. So here I am applying my first roll of clip ends. And I was actually trying to go by the how to apply clip in extension chart they gave me. They said you can start with the three on the bottom three clip ins on the bottom that's what i was showing you guys here <laughs> um and then you move up to the four so i think i'm getting ready to apply the four clip ins at this time i kept using my mirror because you know you got to see the back of that head you know yeah, this hair was so easy to comb through. 
was so soft and bouncy. I just loved it. It was so flowy. Yeah. So here I am again. I think I'm going to be going in with a number four clip-ins again. The, the four clips with this next row. Got to make sure I got them parts correct. Y'all, the back of my hair is so short because I cut it. When did I cut all my hair off? Probably was about a month, two months ago. My perimeter was so damaged because I like to tug at my edges sometimes. And the back is what I choose to tug at the most. I don't know what that's called. I know it's a nervous condition. But I had pulled so much of my back of my, you know, perimeter out that I just got my clippers out and shaved it all off. Now I'm starting it all over again and it's starting to grow back in, but it's looking quite nappy. So excuse that part if you see it. It's it is what it is. It's growing back. Doors gave me a chart, you guys, to go by. And that's the chart I've been trying to go by. So it starts with three clips. Then you do two clips of the four. And then you jump back into the three. So I just applied my roll of three clips. And now I'm moving toward the top of my head. So at the top, they want you to do two clips on the bottom one clip on the top and one clip on the top yeah so for me i just felt like i don't know i just didn't go by that method because my hair was so frizzy that i felt like i needed more width on the top to blend my frizzy hair in so what i ended up doing was taking one of the four which one is this is this the four yeah i did one of the four instead of doing it like they wanted me to do it i did the four on the the very top of the back instead of the three on the top and the back if that makes any sense because i was trying to make sure that my frizzy hair was going to be covered I wanted the longest roll on the top so that my hair would blend a little better. So now I'm brushing that through. I'm liking it. Look at me feeling myself, y'all. <laughs> I love it. I wish I could go back to being relaxed. I really do like my hair at a more manageable, um, straighter state. But relaxers really do take my hair out. And I don't leave them in that long either. I'll leave it in for probably about 15, 20 minutes. But for some reason, my hair is so baby fine that relaxers just take my hair right out. They just start to shed like crazy. The chart pattern was very helpful. I kept looking at it throughout for just extra tips. I want to thank you all for the support and for all of you that have been watching my other videos that I have out. That really helps me out so much, you guys. And if you haven't watched my last videos, can you please go and watch my collabs that I did before this one? That really helps me out. I am trying to branch out into more of a influencer channel. And these collabs are not easy to do. It is a lot of work that goes into it. And it feels good when you can reap your benefits and have people come over and show you the, the love from all the work that you put in. It's really nice to have people that really care. 
so yeah i am enjoying this hair though look how pretty it's laying you guys i it's laying so nice and flat against my scalp it's not bulky at all mm, i like it i just wish that my hair would lay down better if my hair wasn't so frizzy you wouldn't even be able to tell where my hair is in this install and trust me you guys look at all that gray hair yeah so embarrassing girl i got so many gray hairs coming out in my perimeter it is pitiful mm -mm -mm. should i dye it y'all I don't know. I've been thinking about dyeing my hair. I know a lot of the older women have dyed their hair black and stuff. But, mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't dye it, girl. I need to keep all the little hair I got left. What I was getting ready to say was, trust me, I straightened the mess out of my hair, you guys. The humidity just made it poof right back out. I had it straightened. It was flat. It was pretty. And then it was like seconds later, the poof just came back. So I was actually, I don't put heat on my hair really. I mean, I do blow dry it, but I don't flat iron or straighten my natural hair. And I just knew, honey, it was going to, you know, work. Well, no, I straightened my hair last summer. I did, and it poofed right back out, so I just didn't do it anymore. So, yeah, I tried to straighten it so that it would blend, but my hair was like, no, ma'am, honey, we are not staying straight. And then I was having an issue with the clips on the side, how they kept sliding out, and I think that was because I straightened my hair too much at the root. I was told that at the root, you shouldn't straighten it too much because you, or you want to tease it a little bit so that the clip in will stay. And um, I didn't do that, but eventually it just clipped. So yeah, I'm doing the number two clips now. Instead of doing the one on the top, I did the two on the top and the ones on the bottom. Cause like I said, I wanted the longer clip to be toward the top so it would lay majority of that frizzy hair down yeah my honey was up there talking to me that's who i'm talking to i ain't talking to myself which i do talk to myself sometimes though i forgot to tell you guys that i really did like dior's packaging as well um they had like a little magnet on their box so I was having fun opening and closing it just because it had a magnet <laughs> on the fl on the little flap that closes it. <laughs> but yeah, the presentation was all there in the packaging. Girl, it was hot. It was so hot upstairs. Like, we got air conditioner units, y'all. We don't have central air. Our home is a little older, so... You know, I ain't complaining. I'm glad to have a home that's ours. But it would be nice to have some air, honey. I don't know. My husband was thinking about getting two air conditioners up here on this floor. We sure need one in the living room and in the dining room because I was sweating. You guys, these clippings, they weren't too hard to do. I don't know why I overthink everything. I need to learn how to trust the process and not be so hard on myself. Right now, I'm just trying to get this clip in. And my light just went out. Yeah, that sucks. I charged that light all night and it still went out. I'm just excited that I'm almost done with this style. The work must go on, honey. Next time I'll just pull out one of my bigger lights. I really wasn't trying to do that because it was already hot enough. And I knew if I was to turn on one of the bigger lights, it was going to make it hotter. 
But you know what? For video purposes and for my ladybugs, you know, I'll have to tough it out. Because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So I apologize for that, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying my video and my little talk, honey. I figure I don't talk to y'all enough. So I said, okay, this video, I'm going to do some talking. I just want to thank you guys, though, all you guys for subscribing, too, because my subscribers are going up, honey. And I just want to thank all of you guys. And I got some big surprises in store for y'all. I'm telling you. You know, I know what hauls y'all like. And trust me, your girl, she got a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of stuff to come on here and share with y'all. I was just trying to get my collabs done so that I could start bringing my my content that I know you all enjoy. But yeah, that's it, you guys. This is the hairstyle. <laughs> and I was a little disgusted because it's hot, for one. And I just, my hair was so frizzy and poofy that I was just, yeah, I was a little irritated. I'm going in with my edge control. It's the boost booster. I think that's what it's called. I get that edge control from Amazon. It smells like lemons, you guys. I love the way it smells, and it's the best um, edge control I have ever used. Like, it lays my hair down like a hair gel. It's just not wet, and it's not that sticky either. It's just really weighted. It's heavy. It's a heavy wax. It lays it down, though, and it don't stink. It smells real good. But once I started using that edge control, I knew I wasn't going to be going to use nobody else's, honey. Mm -mm. That's the best edge control out there, honey. I will link it in my description, too. Oh, my goodness, y'all. So, yeah, right now I'm just kind of... Trying to lay them edges down, honey. <laughs> because I felt like if I laid the edges down, it would make everything kind of fall in play to where it'll look sleek. So I was working with it, y'all. And I really do like it. It's so pretty. Like if I had some kinky ones, I think that would have been it, honey. Because wearing it down was so cute. And I don't know how to do baby hairs really good with my hair. When I was relaxed, honey, I was a, I was a baby hair queen. Before baby hairs was even baby hairs, I was baby hairing, honey. You can ask people that have been knowing me for years. When I was in my teens, honey, I was baby hairing the mess out of my sides. Because my sides were always really short because I used to pull them out. And so in order for me to, when I used to wear ponytails, if I wanted to disguise that thin sides, I would just do baby hairs. And trust me, they used to be laid, honey. But yeah, that is it. And it's cute, you guys. It is cute. It's just my real hair was not blending. But I thought it was cute, child. Mm -hmm. She did what she had to do. Yes. And then I was like, okay, let me try to bring these sides in. Because this is looking cute. Mm -hmm. So I got my bobby pin, honey. And I'm getting ready to try to bring them sides in. You got to get into it, honey. You got to make it do what it's going to do. Mm-hmm. Ain't it cute? Look at that. It's so cute. Mm-hmm. Yes, let me bring this side in over here. And then I realized that I didn't slick my darn hair down, so I think I'm going to have to go back and slick my um sides down right there. You seen that little nappa B2B? 
Yeah, we got to lay them B2Bs down, girl. I seen them sticking up, girl. But at least I got some edges, honey. I used to pull my edges out so bad. But my edges have always grown back. I, Girl, God is good. I'm so glad that my edges always grow back in nice and full. Mm-hmm. But I will shave them bald, too. Don't, don't. Don't play with me. I'll shave them things. And I have shaved them before. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Ain't that cute? Cute. Yeah, so that was what I ended up doing. And then it just kept getting poofy. So, girl, I was over it. But it's cute. It is cute. Y'all tell me how y'all like this beautiful my hairstyles in the in the comments yeah let me know if i did a good job look at me i'm feeling it it's so flowy it is so flowy i love it yes then i took that out and brushed it back out i didn't get no pictures y'all because i was just really really uh irritated with the frizz okay it wasn't with the doors company it was with this darn frizz the frizz was frizzing okay humidity loves me <laughs> so i ended up going and getting my ponytail holder honey and slicking her back which she was cute like that too what y'all think? I love a ponytail, honey. I thought she was adorable. Mm-hmm. All right. Here I am, you guys, on Monday morning. I had been seeing these half up, half down videos that are out there. And I wanted to give it a try, so... I had already did the install, which there's a lot of videos out there on the installing. Since I already did one installment with you guys, I figured with this one, I would just come on and show you guys just a different styling of how I did it. And as you guys can see, I'm applying more heat because girl, she just did not want to lay down. Once again, she did not want to lay down. But I did like the half up, half down method. It was very pretty. As you guys can see, I like her a lot. She was pretty. It's just, honey, the frizzy hair was not laying. And I was really trying. I was really trying because I really wanted this hairstyle. I really wanted this. I was like, oh, I love a pony. And she was cute, but yeah, I ended up wearing my hair like this to the grocery store. I did put a ball in the top. You guys will see that at the beginning of the video. And then in the back, I ended up putting it in a ponytail and doing a ball back there as well. And I went to the grocery store and did some grocery shopping, honey, in my little dress. And honey, my husband told me, I know you are not going outside with all that cleavage showing. I laughed. I said, baby, okay. So I went and put on a, a little black tank crop top um, to cover up the cleavage, honey. But it really did look like it went to the dress because it was the same ribbing and stuff inside the dress that was on the crop top. But yeah, girl, I got a lot of compliments on this hair. People, oh my God, your hair is so pretty. I was like, thank you. Yeah, and it's like I was just getting so much attention. I need to start wearing makeup more often, honey, and fixing myself up. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can see, there goes the frizz. But all in all, this hair was pretty. It was very pretty. So if any other companies out there want to reach out to me that got some hair, that's my hair texture. Holla at your girl. Bye, ladybugs.